Yo, what is up guys, Jamie here from TechBite. So the Year Beats 3 have been around for a while now, and Apple just released a new colorway for the Beats lineup to celebrate their 10 year anniversary. They call this collection the Decade Collection, and it brings back the popular black and red theme we've seen throughout the Beats product's history. And I think they did this because it's kind of the colorway people used to imagine when someone mentioned Beats. So I'm really glad they decided to bring it back. And I really, really like this colorway. So today, I have the Year Beats 3 with both the 3.5mm jack and the lightning cable. But before we get into the review, make sure to subscribe to my channel to help it grow. And let's unbox these bad boys. I've unboxed the black Year Beats 3 a few months ago, and the packaging on the Decade Collection Year Beats 3 is pretty similar to their regular lineup. The only difference is that the box is now in a matte black finish, and it has a little logo in the corner that lets us know that this is the Decade Collection edition. Honestly, the packaging is really sleek, and it gives us a very good first impression, just like any other Beats product has in the past. Anyways, we'll start by unboxing the lightning connector version first. So on the front of the box, it'll say Year Beats 3 with the 3 as a superscript. Now, I'm not sure why Apple has decided to stylize the 3 in superscript, but it kind of bothers me because I start to read it as Year Beats cubed in my head sometimes. But it's not a big deal, so moving on. We can see on one side, we got the Beats by Dr. Dre logo. And on the other side, we have a little personal message from Dre. Flipping it over to the back, we can see some of the features of their Year Beats 3. And one of these features is the tangle free cable. Now this feature is really handy. I've rarely had to untangle these cables after pulling them out of my pockets. Big bonus to beats for that. Also keep in mind some of the functions on the earbuds are only compatible with devices using iOS 10 or newer. So if you're stuck with an old version of iOS or if you're using an Android phone, these headphones may not be the best for you in terms of features. But they're still really great earbuds if you just want to listen to music with them. These earbuds retail for about $100 in the US or about $120 in Canada, so they're not cheap by any means. But personally, I still think it's a great value and you really can't go wrong with these. So to unseal the box, you just have to pull away this plastic tab at the bottom. And under the plastic lid, you'll find the Year Beats 3. Of course, they included a 10 years logo to remind you that this is part of their Decade Collection. And under that, we'll find two plastic cases. One of them storing wingtips of different sizes, and the other one storing ear tips of different sizes. Now, I think this is the best feature about the new Year Beats 3s, because they really help the earbuds stay in your ear. So if you're a runner or you like working out, then these might be the earbuds for you. But keep in mind these earbuds aren't labeled as water or sweatproof. The wingtips themselves are super easy to put on. The first step is to take off the ear tip, and after that you slide on the wingtips, and then you slide the ear tips back on again. The Year Beats also come with a nice soft touch carrying case, but unlike the other Year Beats, this one's red instead of black. It has the Beats logo on one side, and on the flip side, it has the Decade Collection logo. I'll have to admit, it does feel very nice in the hand, but I've never been a huge fan of these cases. I mean, they're more like a pouch than a case. I kind of wish Apple included a zipper on it so it didn't look like Pac-Man. But then again, that's just me being picky. As for the earbuds, I think it's a great design. The earbuds angle into your ears to give you a more secure fit. It also comes with a fully functional N9 remote that works for iOS 10 and later. Now from what I've heard, Android users can use the start and stop function, but they can't use the volume knobs. And honestly, that's kind of a bummer because these are great earbuds, and I don't think Android users should be limited from its features. But this shouldn't stop you Android users from getting these earbuds because they're excellent earbuds. Now of course there's also the version with the traditional 3.5mm jack, and the box is pretty similar to the lightning one, except on the top there's no label that says lightning connector. And also on the back of the boxes, it will identify which one is which. The unboxing process is exactly the same for both, and there's really no difference between them at all. So I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. So of course you peel this little tab away to unseal the box, and then you lift up the plastic panel to reveal the ear beads. And of course, it comes with various sizes of ear tips and wing tips to help you find the best fit. And of course, let's not forget about Pac-Man. Now, in terms of sound, I really think Beats has listened to its consumers and tried to balance the sound this time around with the new Year Beats 3. It just sounds better overall now. The bass still resonates in your ear, but it's not ridiculously punchy anymore like the previous generation. The highs and mids are okay, but most people who buy Beats are into hip-hop, rap, and electronic music anyways, so it's not a huge problem for them. Now I've noticed the best way to get good bass is to have the earbuds very nicely fitted into your ears, otherwise you won't get any bass at all, and that might be a letdown for some of you. 
I think Apple even mentioned this on one of the boxes during the unboxing. And they're right, great sound does start with proper fit. Anyways guys, that's it for my unboxing and review of the Decade Collection Eurobeats 3. Be sure to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button for more videos.